How's it going everybody? This is Barbigger Spaceball. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my alt account, the Rays team, but I'm still not sure what direction I'm going with that team. Today we have a lot of packs with this team. 30 premium 7 ultimates, and we have some premium vintage player packs to open as well. And at the end of the video I'm going to be doing some vintage combos. So recently, actually last night they added these free daily packs into the game. You can claim one per day. The pack odds are extremely low on these, though it's a cool little freebie. According to the odds, I think I saw on Reddit that it's like a 75% chance you get a basic. And it decreases all the way to 1% for a diamond. Not seeing any free agents in there. And so let's get into some packs. So we are going to start off with these silvers. Just looking for some combo material here. Saving all the diamonds I pull on this team. So some upgrade material would be nice. Don't think I see anybody there. Let's try these next 10. See who we get. Don't see anybody there, but there's some decent players. And let's open these last six. Now let's open up some of the premium packs. Open for a couple golds in each round. Two golds. That's pretty solid. And Anderson. Not gonna help me on this team. But it's cool seeing a Miami player that I have in my main account. Another two gold, so that's solid. I think we have enough room to open up these just random premium packs from just checking rewards and arcade. Yeah, the McMahon. And let's try this other one. The premium pitcher pack and see if we get. Get a Chapman 20. 68 base on the Chapman. I think we have one more random premium pack. This one's from Arcade. And let's see what we get. Pedro Strope. Alrighty, so let's go check for upgrades quickly. I think I might have a few. We got this leak and the Puig. I guess these are from normals I have lying around. Must have forgotten to upgrade these earlier. Don't think any of them are going to succeed. But that's alright. Check our reserve. I'm not seeing anybody there. So it looks like we can get into some combos. So let's sort these by lowest grade first. Got a few crispy shuffles we can do. So I heard that you just gotta try to get the browns in the middle. And that's how you do the crispy shuffles. So let's try these out. So that one works. Chris Davis there. Not his best year, but still a solid card. We get the Hernandez. I believe it's Marco Hernandez. And let's try another crispy shuffle. And that one fails. Let's try another couple of these remaining bronzes. See how we do. That one fails. Pull a Conley. And it looks like this is going to be the last one. See Lub pulled a vintage player. He's also an LB9 innings YouTuber and he's in my club. So that's pretty cool. 
get a shuffle there. It's a two out of four total. Pretty solid. And we get the rook and our door. So I can actually use that to upgrade the door in my lineup. I think we now have room to open up the rest of our packs. At least the rest of our non vintage packs. Oops, so I'm not afraid about those 10 premiums. Let's open these up. She looks like we're just going to be short of room. Four golds, that's definitely solid. Better than I normally see. And let's open up these five golds. And then we'll eventually come back for those seven ultimates. Which I'm hoping we can pull one diamond out of. Get an Alonzo. Some decent cards in there. I mean, all are pretty solid. OVR wise. So I'm going to quickly check for upgrade material. Don't believe we have any. No, we do have that outdoor. 67. He's got a good distribution. Really hope this gold works. And thankfully it does. I'm normally not a big fan of using golds. But he is a starter on this team and he's got okay skills. And so let's get into some more combos. Yeah, let's try some four silvers. See how our luck goes. Try another couple. I might open up some basic packs off camera to get some more brands to try some crispy shuffles because those seem to be working pretty well. Definitely better than just the four silvers, so we can give those a shot after we open up these ultimate packs. So hope for at least one diamond out of these ultimate packs. Be really helpful this team. We do have at least one diamond. Exactly one. So let's hope it's somebody decent. It's a Ryan Tempster, nice. 68 base, I believe that is. Not great skills, but definitely gonna hold on to it. Four Red Sox cards in those seven. So that's pretty funny. So I'm gonna be holding on to that dumpster. Going to clear some more room now. Let's go for a few combos. And then we can try a couple more crispy shuffles. Let's do one more just to clear some room. And we got a Roma, so I can use that as a pre material for the Roma on this team. Alrighty, so I'm back with a couple more bronzes. So do some crispy shuffles. Hopefully we see something here. But it looks like it's just gonna go how it went. In my last video with my Marlins team, first couple turn out pretty well, but then the last few aren't too successful. So let's do a couple more four silver combos. I hate seeing all these silvers just turn right back into silvers. But I guess it's just part of the game once you're building your team. On my Royals account, I recently got my first diamond team select pack just from the new user check-in. So I'll be opening that, that in a future video. See our first shuffle in a while. Get one more font. Who was on the match towards the beginning of 2019? I think they traded him to the Blue Jays, or they may they might have waived him as well. Actually, I think it might have been a weird trade. It was like they got him from the Rays, and they sent him to the Blue Jays as like a player to be named later. And a previous deal, something funny like that. 
Nice to see another shuffle there. Looks like we have room for a bunch more, which I'm surprised by. But I guess if you have, like, 80 silver packs or better, we'll see a decent number of silvers. Shuffles still haven't been popping up too often. Which is a little bit disappointing. As a, one of my farming devices goes off in the background. And that last one fails. But we have a decent number of gold shuffles we can do. So let's get into this first four gold shuffle. Maybe see a diamond in here. There's no day. 63 base, so it's not that bad of a curve. And nice, we pulled it. So let's quickly check the skills. Ace PM landing pitch. It's not a bad skill set. Don't think he'll make my bullpen, but something I'm going to hold on to for sure. So I quickly paused the recording because one of my neighbors was mowing their lawn. But now let's try another four gold combo. See how this one goes. I got one diamond. It's an archer. Pretty good archer. 73 base. Definitely would make my rotation. Power on that gal is pretty crazy. 89 base. It's got to be one of the highest for a non vintage. And we get the Hanson. So we just missed the archer. Now let's throw the Hanson back in. Try another four gold. We got three diamond, which is solid. Got a JBJ in there. Hey Rosario. And a Matt Duffy. I think that's a rookie or Matt Duffy. Pull the Cervelli. At least we saw three diamonds in that one. Try another one here. Ah, uh, no diamonds. It's alright though. Maybe get another uh, Jeff Mathis. Get a Zobrist. And so we have room for a couple more here. See how this one does. Two diamonds. Oh, I meant to check that Gomez is OVR. But we end up getting him anyways. Let's quickly check his stats. 65 base for a reliever, that's pretty good. Good kill shot. Not great skills, but he might have a shot at making my bullpen. Just purely based on OVR. So let's try another four. See how I go. Wow, that's a nice price. 72 base. That Schwarber's got some nice power. 63 base. We got a... Law and a read. The read's not great, but any diamond out of here, I'd be pretty stoked to pull. Ah, we get the Flynn. Maybe that would be good for my Royals team, but not so much this team. Get two diamonds. That Britain's pretty nice, 66 base. As well as that Miza. Or Miza, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. And we pull the Shaw. So we have room for one more. Hopefully this goes well. Get one diamond here. We got a Josh Reddick. 64 base. Pretty decent card. And we pull the Patansis. So we were able to add three diamonds to the team. Gomez is probably the best one. Got T's with those two diamond raised pitchers, the Price and the Archer, which were both pretty nice cards. But now let's open up some of these intermediate vintage packs. Hopefully see a couple silvers in here. Gold would be crazy. All bronzes. But I have some energy eyes I can use on those, so we can eventually turn those into golds for some combos. 
guys are interested in their bases, quickly go over them. All of them are pretty solid cards. I believe that I may it might be the top or one of the top Yankees early pitchers. So it's a pretty solid card overall. And it has a good OVR as well. Let's open these four premium vintage packs. Maybe see. Oh, we got a diamond. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, man. We got our second diamond vintage Cardinals. Cardinal. Wow. That is awesome. I'm so like I'm still leaning towards the Cardinal stack, but really love to have one sig. But hey, I mean, that pushes us even closer. That's a very nice card. Needs skills, but wow, that is crazy luck. So looking over the skills one last time. So that man is actually not that bad. So is Lightning Pitch. So I think I might keep this for now. I mean, I eventually have to train him up. And I believe I have one of his vintage. I can use upgrade him. But I'm going to hold off on that for a little bit. And I'm going to use some minor grade increases as well as intermediate grade increases. On the vintage I pulled, I'm going to check my backup inventory for some gold vintages that I might have. And I will see you guys when I'm ready to do some vintage combos. So I was able to find a few more gold, so we can get in probably three or four combos. This should be pretty crazy. And yeah, you can't use more than four, but I don't know why you'd throw in an extra if you didn't have to. So it's a good thing. It's double mileage now. Just gonna double check. And yes, it is. You get twice as much mileage, so you get 20% mileage for the stars you spend. So if you spend 100 stars, you get 20 mileage, whereas normally you'd get 10. So we got no diamond that time. We got a Derek Bill, I believe that is. Let's try another one. No luck either. Get a Tom DiMaggio. Let's try another one here. Get a McNally. And let's try one more. Hands. Unfortunately, no luck. But that is okay. I'm very happy we pulled the Herboski from those premium packs. I feel like even though I didn't see anything there, it's still a, one of the better ways to spend your stars in the game. So it looks like that's going to be it for me. Let me know what you think about the video down in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.